I start when I try to explain uh, what I think and feel when I consider this? When I consider the murder of uh, Officer Albanado. So many things. Um, I wonder how it, sometimes how it ever came to that, because it was a betrayal of all my values, really. I've had to reconsider, of course, uh, everything I was doing at the time, uh, the offense, and tried to imagine how those things contributed. was maybe not an unimaginable act, but certainly an unthinkable one. If only I could go back and, and uh, rewrite what happened that night, of course I would. And many, many times over the years I've thought it might, that, it, that it would have been better had I been killed that night rather than, than, than Officer Abaneda. But, um, but I can't undo what has been done. Part of my remorse. Is this terrible impotence because there's nothing that can be done about it, unlike most wrongs for which one can atone. How do I just describe the, uh, the pain and loss that I see written on the faces of, of the Oblonado and Mills families when I see them in the courtroom? This deep of sorrow is, is It's pre-verbal or something. It's it's I don't know. Uh, how do I describe the the? Uh, pain I've seen in my mother's eyes uh, every time that we visited since then. Uh, how, how do I describe her piercing cry as she collapsed uh, in the courtroom when I was sentenced to death? I'm so, so sorry for having killed Ralph Oblonato. <sighs> and stolen from him everything he might have become. And all the worlds that he shared with others, with the people that loved him. <laughs> 